What's going on guys? My name is Voss and if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, check out some of my other reviews. I got a Ferrari 612 review up right now. That V12 is pretty crazy, so go check that out. But today I'm in the 2019 Ford Edge ST and we're going to find out if the ST badge is fitting for an Edge. All right, so we are in the 2019 Ford Edge ST, and Ford's done something pretty brave here. They have slapped an ST, a uh, you know special. It's a very special badge. It was pre it was first fitted with the uh, Focus ST, and then the Fiesta ST. Then they also had the Focus RS. Um, when you have an ST badge, you're expecting performance. That's that's what they're going after, and. Since Ford announced that since they sell more uh, SUVs and trucks than they do cars, that they were basically killing off all their cars minus the Mustang, um, the ST was announced for the Edge. And the, previously, the Edge was, it was a pretty good seller. They had an Edge Sport, and this is kind of replacing that. So today, we're going to uh, kind of talk about some of the numbers, some of the stuff that this has got, do some driving, and uh, I'll tell you how it feels. Okay, so the Ford Edge ST it's got a 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6. Um, it's pretty impressive. We're talking 330 horsepower and 383 foot-pounds of torque. Um, the previous Edge Sport had pretty good numbers as well. This has got about roughly 20 more horsepower and 30 more foot-pounds of torque than that. Uh, the twin turbo, it, it's good. It's got a lot of power. Um, they used a eight-speed transmission for this. Um, it's got paddle shifters um, and I wish they did the 10 speed that they did in the Mustangs, but overall it's not too bad. It doesn't shift as fast as the Mustangs do, but for the 2.7 that it's fitted with, it's got a lot of power. Um, there's a little bit of lag, but it's not too noticeable, and once it gets up and going, it's, it's pretty impressive. If the 2.7 is too much and you don't want the ST trim, they have other trims for the Edge. Um, the rest of them come with a 2 liter 4 cylinder. It's got slightly less power, but you're going to do a little better on economy, but if you're looking for more of a performance or a more um, sportier version, of the Edge, the ST is going to be the go-to. It's not too bad. It does roughly 19 miles a gallon in the city and 26 on the highway. The 380 plus foot-pounds of torque helps the Edge ST accelerate from 0 to 60 miles an hour in roughly 5.7 seconds. That's pretty good for a car or a SUV that weighs nearly 4,700 pounds, but it's not a huge step up. The old Edge ST that had 20 less horsepower and 30 less foot-pounds of torque roughly hit 60 in the same time, 5.6, five, 5.7. Five, so it's not a huge benefit, but there's a lot of other features you get with this that make it um, make it a little more premium, a little nicer than the previous uh, Sport. This being the ST, it does come with a slightly upgraded suspension. Compared to the previous Sport uh, Edge that they made, the ST has got a slightly stiffer suspension. It's roughly 12% stiffer in the front, 20% in the rear. The anti-roll bar in here is slightly beefier. Overall, the car rides a little stiffer. It, it rides more like a sports utility vehicle than a uh, family vehicle, but it still has all the features and comforts that you could need out of an everyday vehicle. There are a couple of wheel options you can get on the Edge ST. Um, there's 20 inch that come with it, and then there's an optional 21 inch that comes with red calipers and summer tires, Pirelli P0 summer tires. It being December and pretty crappy out uh, in Ohio, this one's got the uh, this one does not have the summer tires or the red calipers. It's got the regular uh, wheels that it comes with. And now that I've given you um, basically all the numbers that are relevant for this car, let's uh, let's put it in drive. Which this does not have a a shift knob or a gear lever. It's actually a little dial that you press. I don't know if I like it. It makes the interior a lot more spacious by eliminating a big shift uh, lever, but essentially you just twist it over to put it in drive, and then uh, this being the Edge ST, I'm going to put it in Sport. That should uh, help make the exhaust sound a little throatier and give it a little more response and use the paddles, and let's see how she does. Alright, so I'm driving it a little bit here. A couple things I'm noticing is just something that I don't like about it already is it's a it's a $47,000, you know, MSRP. It can get up 
closer to fifty thousand dollars there's some incentives you can get depending on the dealership jermaine ford of beaver creek is the ones that let me borrow this vehicle they've got some specials on it you can get it for a little discounted rate um, i'll link it here uh, check them out but first thing i'm noticing is other than the st badge on the steering wheel it is a very similar steering wheel to the fiesta it reminds me of what i took my driver's test in it doesn't feel very light it doesn't feel like it fits a fifty thousand dollar car um so that's already a, a negative for me and then another thing i didn't really like is the interior dash panel um compared to the mustang the premium mustang and the raptor and the f-150 that i've driven it's not nearly as the buttons don't feel as nice but it's not bad it's just different it's a little um they feel a little more like something you since they had to keep all the trim similar from the regular package all the way up to the st it just i wish they would have used the buttons that came in the uh, mustang or the f-150 so it's a pretty bad day yeah, it was snowing earlier in ohio and now it's raining um weather's not the greatest but this has got this comes standard with all-wheel drive and i mean it's got it's got a good bit of power it definitely puts that power down and it handles okay um so far what i'm noticing is this wheel's a little looser than i'd like on a i guess a performance oriented vehicle it's not bad um it just I, 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 if I'm driving a sports car or a sport, you know, inspired SUV, I'd expect a little tighter of a steering wheel. It's not too bad. The power shifters aren't bad. Let's put her in, um, let's go put it down in, in the gear right now. It does well. If you miss a gear, you don't have to worry. It'll shift up for you. But overall, it, it drives okay. I mean, 383 foot pounds of torque is nothing to feel bad about. There is a there's a lot of power here for you and overall it's it's pretty fast it's got a lot of power there's a lot of features in here that um make it very comfortable as you're driving in the dash you can notice that it'll actually display kind of your compass as well as your speed limit which is super nice um you don't have to look away from the driving you can focus on the road and see all those things it's got a lot of other features like adaptive cruise control um where it keeps you in your lane and actually drives it's not fully autonomous driving but it does drive partially for you kind of like if you checked out the if you noticed the model 3 that i reviewed it's got a very similar style um uh, wheel where the wheel will actually take you know take corners and shift lanes and whatnot it, it does pretty good and it'll actually keep you centered in your lane which is a which is a plus it's got some power um in the lower in the lower speeds one thing i've noticed um is when you are putting it in a gear if you don't shift up right away it will before it even hits red line which is roughly around 5500 rpms in this thing it'll just shift up for you which i'm not sure i like that i think it's like here i'll demonstrate right now so as i press on it yeah it before i even have a chance to push that power down it shifts right for me which it's not a bad thing it's keeping the engine safe but you know it'd be nice if it would uh let you kind of control the uh power shifters a little more the power band even though this is a twin turbo uh you know v6 the power feels relatively linear in the especially in the higher gears i'm not feeling like there's a lot of lag as i press on it it wants to just take off and go it's not too bad definitely in the lower speeds it is waiting to spool before it shoots off um it's a heavy it's a heavy vehicle about 4700 pounds so you know it's got a lot of it's got it's got a good amount of power but it is moving a lot of weight uh, in terms of the interior comfort it's got all the standard features that you're looking for heated cooled seats and i have this gripe with the mustang and the f-150 but the cooled seats are really loud but other than that they're very nice they work very well um it's very spacious in here i'm not tall i'm not a very tall person but for me the back seats are very comfortable i've had no issues sitting back there um and overall it's it's this is the nice thing with this is it's you know it's got all the power you want when you want it if you're just wanting to cruise or go on a family road trip or you know go out on a drive you can you can fit you know four people very comfortably the middle seat is kind of more for an emergency person the seat it does seat five but it seats four very comfortably overall the seats are very comfortable um the bolstering is very nice uh you know it having the sd badge it's definitely got seats that'll hug you and hold you in a lot better and i mean it's got some power and it sounds pretty good it, it wants to go i mean it's not doesn't throw you in your seat like you know some of the other vehicles but for what it is it's it's got a lot of power and it feels feels very very good some features about the edge that i really like is starting with the sunroof man it is impressive it goes it 
it spans almost the entire length of the rear seats. It's very large and it's got that dual pane like the Raptor. Um, very, very nice. Another uh, feature, and this is a feature that more and more cars are throwing in standard nowadays, is you can see the speed limit and the kind of the directions of which street you're on right in front of you. It's really nice because it doesn't take you away, take your eyes really off the road much. You're kind of looking in the same direction as you would be down there. It's a very good feature. It tells you the speed limit. The lane centering and the adaptive uh, cruise control is a very good feature as well. You can also get the Edge ST uh, with the tow package. Um, it roughly tows about 5,000 pounds. It's, you know, I mean, you're not get, you're not buying an Edge to tow your boat or tow your vehicle, but if you were to need to, if you ever were in a situation where you needed to tow something, it's got a decent tow capacity. All right, so, you know, I've driven the ST here a little bit. It's the Edge ST. It's fantastic. Does it, does it replace what Ford made with the Fiat, the Focus ST and the Focus RS? Uh, I'm not quite sure yet. It, it, it's doing a good job. It's definitely in the right direction. Overall, it's very comfortable and it's got a lot of power when you need it. It's a little, the power shifters aren't the best, the wheel could be better, um, but it, it's, it does a pretty good job and it's it's fun. So, I mean, I've, I don't really have too many complaints with it. The only issues I'm noticing is some of the, you know, for almost $50,000, you are, they are kind of cut in corners and some of the plastic and some of the material in here. But overall, I mean, this is a great, great great vehicle and i've had a lot of fun in it so if you've enjoyed this review you know please smash that like button share it if you're interested in st or you know somebody interested in st an edge st uh jermaine ford beaver creek has got one here that i'm driving they've got two other ones and they got more on the way so uh i'll link their information here check it out and um thank you for watching check out some of my other videos and i will see you next video